probability, forming committees. Example 1. A school student council needs to elect a female chairperson and a male chairperson. Ellen, Rachel, Beth, Sarah, Orla, Sheila, Brian, John, Stephen and Matt are all candidates. The students have elected Beth and Matt as respective chairpersons. They must now elect a deputy female chairperson and a deputy male chairperson. What's the probability that Stephen and Ellen will fill these posts? So these are the people that we have. Ellen, Rachel, Beth, Sarah, Aura, Sheila, Brian, John, Stephen and Matt. They're all candidates. And we're told that they've elected Beth and Matt as chairpersons. So we can eliminate now Beth and Matt from further calculations. So the girls that are left, if we're assuming the names are as they are, Ellen, Rachel, Sarah, Orla, Sheila, and the boys' names are Brian, John, and Stephen. So the probability of selecting Ellen from the girls is 1 in 5. And the probability of selecting Stephen is 1 in 3. Note the two events are independent. Choosing or not choosing Ellen does not affect Stephen's chances of being chosen. So if you have to choose a girl, and you choose Ellen or don't choose Ellen, when choosing a boy, Stephen still has a 1 in 3 chance. So these two events are independent. And likewise, the selection of the, the boy has no bearing at all on your restrictions or options in choosing the girls. So these two events are independent. The probability of choosing both Ellen and Stephen is given by the probability of Ellen and Stephen. And in this case, because they're independent, that's the probability of Ellen by the probability of Stephen. And this equates mathematically to the probability of Ellen and Stephen, or 1 over 5 for the girls, times 1 over 3 in the case of Stephen. Or 1 over 5 by 1 over 3 is 1 over 15. So in, in English, or in words, the probability that Ellen and Stephen both become deputy chairpersons is 1 in 15. Example 2, forming committees. Five girls and four boys are members of a social group. They wish to appoint a committee of four people to organise a group trip. How many different ways that can the committee be formed under the following circumstances? If there are no restrictions, if there has to be at least three girls on the committee, or if there has to be at least one boy and one girl on the committee. So in the first case where there are no restrictions, you have five girls and four boys, and you can pick any four. So let's start with the example of no restrictions. In total, there are nine people to choose from, five girls and four boys, with a committee consisting of four people. So you wish to choose four from nine. The order in which the people are chosen makes no difference. It doesn't matter whether you pick one girl before another girl, the order doesn't matter as long as they end up on the committee. So we can look at this in terms of n, the total number of people available, 9, and the people we want to choose, or the number of people we want to choose, equals 4. And also, the order doesn't matter, so it's a combinations question. So using the formula for combinations, we get that instead of ncr, we'd say 9c4. 9c4, or 9c4 this way, is 9 factorial over 4 factorial, 9 minus 4 factorial. 9 factorial on the top is 9 by 8 by 7 by 6, all the way down to 1. 4 factorial is 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. And 9 minus 4 is 5. And 5 factorial is all of this, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we can see that the last set of terms, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, conveniently cancel each other out. Equally, we could take the 2 and the 4 and get rid of the 8, because 2 times 4 would be 8, and even have a go with the 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So on the top, we'd have 3 by 7 by 6. Multiplying it out, we get 126 over 1, or 126. 
So there are 126 combinations if you're without restriction choosing any four from the nine. We now look at the second condition and that was if we had to choose at least three girls for the committee. At least is an important construct. It means uh, at least, well, three or more. So greater than or equal to. Now in this case, because we're only choosing up to four on the committee, at least three means three girls on the committee or four girls on the committee. And these two outcomes are mutually exclusive because you can't have three girls on the committee at the same time as you have four. You can't have exactly three and exactly four. So you can add the numbers of combinations here. So as they're mutually exclusive, it's not possible to have exactly three on the committee at the same time as having exactly four. So let's look at all the combinations where you might have exactly three girls. The number of ways of having exactly three girls out of five girls chosen on the committee where the order is unimportant is given by n is 5 and r is 3. So in this case we've got ncr or 5c3 on the calculator 5c3, 5 factorial, 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 is 2, so 2 factorial. So on the top, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The 3 factorial is 3, 2, 1. And the 2 factorial is 2, 1. And the 3, 2, 1's cancel. And we're left with 5 by 4 over 2 by 1. Or 5 by 4 over 2. Or 20 over 2. Or 10. So there are 10 ways of having exactly, or selecting exactly, 3 girls from the 5. Now remember that if you are choosing 3 girls from the Five, there's another place for a boy. So we have to work out how many ways we can do that. Well, exactly one boy. There are four boys. So you would think the answer would be four. But let's use the formula. The number of ways of having one boy out of four on the committee, where the order is unimportant, is given by n is four, r is one, four c one, or four c one this way, four factorial over one factorial, 4 minus 1 factorial, 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 1 by 3 by 2 by 1, they cancel, or 4. But really we could have spotted that. We have 4 boys, we have to pick 1 only. There are 4 ways. So 4c1 is 4. So to get exactly 3 girls and 1 boy then, there were 10 ways of getting exactly 3 girls and four ways of getting exactly one boy. And these didn't interfere with each other in that you had ten ways here. You could have had, for each of those, it didn't restrict which boy you chose. So the total number of ways are ten times four, or forty. So the selections are independent. Choosing particular girls did not constrain the selection of the particular boys, or vice versa. So we have a total now of forty ways in which we could get three girls on the committee. But the question said we could have at least three on the committee, so now we'll consider the option where we've got exactly four girls on the committee. Well, to get four girls on the committee, the number of ways of doing that, four out of five, where the order is unimportant, we go through the same process. We say there are five girls to choose from, four to pick. Really, we're really only leaving one of the girls out, so there should be five ways of doing that. So 5c4 for nc4, 5c4, 5 factorial over 4 factorial, 5 minus 4 factorial, and working out all the expressions as before. Doing the eliminations, we're left with five ways. And that should make be clear enough, or should make sense, and that we want four girls out of five, so really only one of them will be left out. And there's five ways that can happen. It could be the first girl, the second, the third, the fourth, or the fifth. So there are five ways of getting exactly four girls. Now, if we are getting four girls, that means we have no boys. And in many ways, can you get no boys? Well, there's really only one because, you know, you can't have anything but none on it. So the number of ways of having no boys out of four is given by n is four, r is zero, four c zero, 
4 C0 this way, 4 factorial over 0 factorial, 4 minus 0 factorial. And you can see that this is really 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial, or just 1. So the number of ways of getting exactly 4 girls and no boy is 5 ways of picking the 4 girls, only 1 way of having no boys, so the answer is 5. So we have 5 ways now of having committee with 4 girls on it. So again, the selections are independent. We don't, the, the choosing of the boys did not in any way compromise or uh, restrict the choices of the girls. So to get at least three girls on the committee then, well, we had three girls and one boy, 40 ways of doing that. Four girls and no boy, five ways of doing that. So at least three girls on the committee, there are 45 ways of having the committees with at least three girls and uh, either three girls or four girls on it. The final question, or part of it, was find out how many ways you can create committees with at least one girl and one boy on the committee. So there's a lot going on here, at least one girl and one boy. So we might write down all the options. We can use the same approach by identifying all the options which satisfy the requirements. So at least one girl and one boy would mean one girl or three boys. That would satisfy it. Two girls and two boys would do it. Or three girls and one boy would do it. So all of those separate combinations or patterns would work. Equally, we could say, if we just identify what wouldn't work, well, four girls on their own and no boy wouldn't work, and no girls and four boys wouldn't work. And if we took those from the total number of combinations, we could find out how many were still valid. So let's start with these two on the bottom. Four girls, no boy, no girls, four boys, and find out what those options are. Starting with the number of ways of getting exactly four girls and no boy, we say getting exactly four girls, there were five ways, because we left one girl out. Getting exactly no boys, there was one way. So the total number of ways was five. We had done this earlier in the question, so we could use that again, four girls and no boy and knowing that they're independent. Now, looking at exactly four boys, well, we use the same process again, but if we're going to pick all four boys, there's really only going to be one way of doing it. N is four, R is four, if we were to use the formula, four C four, this way, four factorial over four factorial, not factorial. Remember that not factorial is one. And again, they cancel and we get one. Because there's only one way of getting the four boys, you must get them all. So exactly no girls on the committee then, if you have that, you would have 5C0, or 5 factorial over 0 factorial over 5 minus 0 factorial. Again, you'd have 5 girls to choose, none that you want. And there's really only one way of doing that. You're not going to pick any, so the answer is always going to be 1. Anything C0 is going to be 1. If you're not going to pick, there's only one way of doing it. So the number of ways of getting exactly 4 boys and no girls, well, we're one way of getting four boys, one way of getting exactly no girls, and one times one is one. So again, one didn't compromise the other. So if we now look at the question that was actually asked, it was the number of ways of forming the committee are as follows. Well, without restriction, we got 126 options. Four girls and no boys, there were five ways of doing that. Four boys and no girl, one way of doing that. So. Apart from those two setups there, everything else would have at least one boy and one girl. So if we subtract 226 minus 5 minus 1, there are 120 ways of forming committees so that it has at least one girl and at least one boy. An alternative approach to having at least one girl and one boy can be done once we become very familiar with the equations. We'll see how quick it is to calculate it. So, if we have to have at least one girl and one boy, we could have one girl and three boys. One girl and three boys would suggest out of the five girls you'd want one, and out of the four boys you'd want three. And they're both combinations, and they're independent, so you'd say 5C1 times 4C3, or 5 1 this way, 4 1 this way, or 5 by 4 is just 20. Two girls and two boys would also work, you'd have at least one of each. Again, for the girls, five, you want two of them. Four boys, you want two of them. 
5C2, 4C2, that comes out with your calculator as 10 times 6, or 60. And 3 girls and 1 boy, out of the 5 you want 3, out of 5 girls you want 3, out of the 4 boys you want 1, 5C3, 4C1, on your calculator, 10 by 4 is 40. So you can see now that all of these options work. One girl, three boys, two girls, two boys, three girls, one boy. And if you add them up, because they are mutually exclusive, you can't have one girl and three boys on a committee at the same time as you have two girls and two boys. So these are mutually exclusive. So you can just add them up. At least one girl and one boy is 20, plus 60, plus 40, or 120, exactly as we got before.